everyone and welcome to another video today's video I'm gonna be having a little bit of a chat with you about how I organize my bookshelves now I've come to that pinnacle point of my life where I'm at the stage of kind of like growing up properly and getting my own place um, that process is a very stressful process and a hard process and basically I have no room for books anymore I can't collect any more books I uh, it's gonna become basically a mess so I wanted to kind of show you how I organize my shelves now before I no longer have an organization system because soon I am going to be moving out and I'm going to need to get a place of my own. Life is happening, things are happening and I'm kind of on like a ticking time bomb so <laughs> That's basically the story. So I'm going to share with you how I organise my shelves. It's at that moment now where I'm really, really happy with the organisation of it. Um, I think it looks nice. Everything kind of has a place. Like if you told me a book, I'd know exactly where it is. Only just got to this place because I've only just recently moved into the space I'm in here. Um, so only it's only just got to that position where I'm really happy with how things look. And then I'm sure within the next few months, I'm going to be moving out again, which is one of the most stressful things in my life. But that's basically what's going to happen. So I wanted to share with you how I organise my shelves. Now, there isn't really a strict rhyme and reason for this and I think taking on board for you guys, your shelves are like your space. This is your collection. This is your pride and joy and I think it's up to you how you want to organise them so no way am I telling you how to do it. But let's just crack on. Now, this is kind of like my layout. I'm just going to give you an overlay. I have six bookshelves in my room. I have one for my TBR. I have five for books that I have read. Um, so, and I started reading when I started booktubing which was on, I believe, I believe December 26, 2013. So I've been booktubing now for a very, very long time. So yeah, let's just, let's go. Let's just get going. Okay, Ben, just shut up and let's go. Okay. So here's a little overview of my shelves so far. Far. As you can see, it's very colourful, it's very bright. I went with the white bookshelves, and over there's my TBR shelf there, which is the grey one, and they kind of all go down like this, and yeah. The first thing I'll mention is that all of my books that are hardback, I have put on the top shelf. Now, that is because I generally have no more room, but also I just think because my bookshelves are actually pretty short, like in height-wise, they're tiny, um, and I kind of tower over them, so by adding this another layer on top kind of gives it a bit more height, so when I film videos, you, like the whole backdrop is books. And then we kind of have this shelf here. This is like my pride and joy shelf, books that I love. So of course, Sarah J Mass and Rebecca Ethington. And then over here, just like random books laid out. Like that shelf down there is books that I don't really like. So we're just gonna ignore that shelf. But this is my off tone shelf. So all the books that I've published um, so far and books that I've got coming out, they're all on this shelf. And this is like my really, really pride and joy shelf. I have my little candle here, but I've got books that are like coming out, books I've published. It's just like, when I look at this, I'm filled with like excitement and I just want to scream. Also, you'll notice on my bookshelves, I've got loads of Funko Pops. I just think it's quite nice to have little things on your shelves. Now, I'm going to... Okay. So now, I'm sat on my bed and I'm taking you over to my... This is my TBR shelf, basically. There's not really much rhyme and reason for this, except I feel like the only rhyme and reason is on that shelf, there are series and my immediate TBR, which is led down there, wanting, stalking, Jack, Rip Jack the Ripper. And then we've kind of just... The rest of it is just kind of like a mix mash of things. There's not really an organization scale here but as you can see it's all double stacked because otherwise I'd have literally no room to put anything. So here's my bookshelf from this angle you can kind of see the direction where I'm filming in and then here. So as you can see like it's really simple and I am really happy with it at the moment. I just wanted to document this more for myself as well as you guys so that I can look back at this in like four months time when there is no order when I'm most probably living out of boxes. Um, so yes I, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want like a proper bookshelf tour before before this all turns into a mess, then please give this video a thumbs up. If this gets to a thousand thumbs up, I will do a bookshelf tour. Now, the reason I say th 1,000 is because a bookshelf tours take so long to film. They are so, so, so much effort goes into them. So if you want to see it, please give it a thumbs up. I really want to do one, but only if you guys want to see it. So get this to a thousand thumbs up. But apart from that, that's my organization. Let me know in the comments below how you organize. Do you put bookshelves on top? Do you do it colored by authors? I kind of do it for each shelf. It's a different section. Like you saw my obsessions shelf, my tome shelf, my hardback shelf. They're all kind of different shelves mean different things to me. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to see your comments below. And apart from that, I'll see you again for another video very soon. Bye-bye!